Okay, one way that we can attack percent problems is instead we can use an equation instead of a proportion. An equation is set up in this fashion where we have r times b equals a. Now with this, we have to know what these variables are. r is your rate. Rates are the percentage. Base would be the whole or the bigger picture. And then the amount is the result or the smaller picture. Now with that we have an English sentence that we have to translate and in order to do that we have to have some idea of what the different words might mean. Most of the time the word of is talking about the multiplication side of your equation. The word what is how you're going to start your equation. The word is normally means your equals sign and then obviously the percent value um, we change to a decimal in order to do our multiplication. So what we have to do is we have to read each sentence and we have to be able to identify what we actually have in the problem versus what's missing. So to start with we have three terms. We have R, we have the B, and we have the A. And at this point we don't know what's missing. The question says what is 49% of 153? So first of all we have a percentage that's our rate. So we have 49%. We need to convert that to a decimal. So divide by 100 is 0. Um, 0.49, okay, 49%. And then the of part is what signifies, again, your multiplication. So here we have B is 153, which means A is the unknown. So the way we set this up is we have R times B is equal to my A term. So I have 0 0.49 times 153 is equal to my A term. So we would simply multiply those together and we're going to get 74.97 is going to give you your A. So. This is the result that we were looking at. So what this means is that 74.97 is 49% of 153. Okay, so if you look at it, the equation equal sign is is, the multiplication sign is of, and so essentially that's how we would rewrite the problem. All right, let's look at another one. And again, we have R, B, and A. And we need to see what pieces we have in our problem. So what percent of 96 is 36? So again, if we look at it, this is telling us that we have, let me use this one, um, percent of B is A, if that kind of makes sense. So here the R is missing. Our B is the $96 and our A is $36. So again, R times B gives you the A term. So my rate times 96 is equal to 36. So my rate is going to be 36 divided by 96. And in this case, we would do the division. So here we're going to get 0 0.375. But then what we have to remember is that we're looking for a percent. So we need to take this 
and we need to multiply it by 100%. So we find out that your rate is equal to 37.5%. And this is the answer we want. Okay. Let's look at another one. So here we have 25.3 or 23.5 is 16 and two-thirds percent of what? So again, if we were to try and rewrite the problem, we have A is percent of B. So when we look at our variables, R is 16 and two-thirds percent. My A is 23.5 and my B is the unknown. So I have 16 and 2 thirds. So the first thing that I want to do is I need to be able to convert this to a decimal. So to do that we need to change it over to its improper form. So we've got little number or bottom times the big number plus the top. Keep the bottom the same. So this is going to end up giving me 50 over 3 and so this is 50 over 3 percent so we need to be able to um, convert that over to its decimal form so we have 50 over 3 which is the same as 16.6 .6 repeating percent Again, if you remember to convert to percents or to decimal, it says we have to divide that by 100. So this is going to give us 0 0.16 repeating as a decimal. Okay, so percent to decimal is uh, what we did. So here we need to set up our equation. So we have R times B is equal to A. So here we're going to end up with um, our decimal, so 0 0.16 repeating times B is equal to 23.5. So B is going to be 23.5 divided by your repeating decimal. And so here the easiest thing to do is to be able to um, take your calculator. Okay, so let me clear it. And so here we're going to have to kind of work backwards. So what we know is we know that we have 23.5 and we're going to divide that by. And then in here we have our 50 over 3 percent. So we would do a second parenthesis, 50 divided by 3, close it divide it by 100, close it, and hit enter. So this is going to give us 141. Now if your calculator doesn't have the parenthesis piece, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do 23.5 divided by, and then you're going to go 0 0.1 and do as many until you can't do them anymore and hit enter and notice your number is basically 141. Okay, So that is a one workaround if you don't have the um, parentheses. Okay? And so this is the answer that we were looking for is 141. Now last I have 45 is what percent of 30? So again we have A is percent of B. So notice for each of these, even though each equation or sentence we've looked at, we have been able to rewrite them in the form of our equation here by using the definition of each part. And so here we have that A is going to be 45. My percentage is the unknown piece and my B is 30. So again, 
R times B equals A. So R times 30 equals 45. So your rate is going to be 45 over 30. And so this is going to end up giving you 1.5. Remember, in order to get that into a percent, we need to multiply by 100%. So my rate is going to be 150%. So there you have it. You have four different uh, sentence structures, all of which allow you to solve using um, your percent equation. So remember, as long as you can identify um, the different pieces and which one is missing, you should always be able to solve your equations. Okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, it's been a blast. Make sure to keep smiling and I'll see you next time.